So now in this video we're going to look at uh, some outputs you'll commonly see with integrated circuits. We're going to use a uh, trim pot to uh, demonstrate them and then some uh, added resistance. So we're going to get a fraction of the total voltage in this case, whereas integrated circuits usually lose a certain amount of voltage from uh, one supply rail or the other. But first off we're going to look at what the trim pot normally does. Often you'll just connect uh, one side to the positive supply, other to the negative, and as long as you don't need to provide any current, you're just looking at the voltage, such as the multimeter will do, you have that uh, full range of voltage that uh, you can output from the uh, trim pot. So power supply is set to five volts right there, and it is on, and uh, earlier, I didn't have any power because I forgot to turn the power supply on. But uh, in any case, we have uh, the probes here. I clipped an alligator clip to them. I crimped a wire to the alligator clip, our voltages are gonna be in relationship to uh, the negative supply there, ground, zero volts. That's going to be the uh, voltages that we use. And uh, same thing with the red alligator clip. This will be our voltage in relationship to that. This is auto range meter. All I have to do is set it to voltage and it does the rest. So we have the trim pot set about halfway. We got about half of the five volts. We can go down to uh, zero volts and we can go all the way up to the uh, full five volts right there. So we're falling a little shy because there's a little resistance in the connectors and everything. But for the most part, we have the full range of uh, voltages right there. So single supply, the uh, 555 timer is uh, the most common integrated circuit that uh, people use. And uh, most of them are a single supply output. The uh, NE555, the SE555, they don't go all the way to the positive supply when it comes to the output, but it does go all the way to ground, uh, zero volts right there. So we're going to simulate that with the uh, trim pot. So again, the 555, probably if you're using five volts, will go up to about three and a half. If you have a 10 volt power supply, probably up to about eight and a half approximately. Uh, we're going to use resistance, so we're going to use the equal amount of resistance. And so we're going to have half of the uh, total voltage that we can work with. We're only going to output about uh, two and a half at most. So I got to move that jumper down there. There we go. Now we see the voltage. So we can go to uh, zero volts, but right now we can only output about uh, two and a half volts right there. And uh, so that's what single supply does. So usually not as uh, dramatic as the resistance that we're using here where we lose half the supply voltage usually you lose uh, less voltage but you do lose some of the positive voltage that's something to be aware of I had a circuit where I needed to get all the way to the full positive supply and I couldn't do that so I had to make uh, modifications that was in the last video so I'm going to uh, move the trim pot down to our dual supply situation so a lot of op amps um, if you read uh, older material the 741 op amp is uh, really common. It does not provide the full power, uh, positive supply or the full uh, negative supply right there. It falls short. That's because uh, when it comes to dual supply circuits, zero volts is a uh, middle voltage. There's a positive voltage in relationship to that and a negative voltage in relationship to that. So I'm not going to demonstrate that in this video. I've done uh, rail splitter videos and stuff where you can make a positive and negative voltage. We're just going to look at this as a uh, single supply, but it's still a dual supply output because it can't go all the way to the uh, negative voltage. So we will zoom back here. Then you can see I got a resistor to the positive there, and then this one to the negative. They're both 10 kilo ohm resistors, so we got thirds to work with here. So we are at the halfway point right now, and we do have half the voltage. If we go down as far as we can negative, there you can see we have one third of the total uh, voltage. That's as low as we can go. We can't go below that. And we can go up to uh, two thirds right there. And uh, that's as far as we can go. That's our output uh, range. We can't get any closer to either rail right there. So again, that's usually when the halfway point there is zero. And that's more negative, that's more positive. Uh, so the reason why you may have that is because you need more power. That's usually a uh, easier way to get more power out of the transistors that are within an integrated circuit. And uh, so you may end up with that if you need a lot of power. But if you need a wide voltage range, and uh, you may have to settle with uh, less power from the output, but then you can amplify that with other uh, circuitry. 
So that's why single supply and uh, rail to rail are more uh, common now because often you need your signal to get to zero volts or close to it and uh, it's easy to amplify it. It's not uh, terribly hard. Whereas in the old days you just kind of had to settle for uh, something with higher power that did not have the full range of voltages for the reasons I explained earlier. So in any case, hope that all makes sense. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.